Hello, my name is Ayn Crow, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, presented in Stereoscopic 3D. This is part three, and in the last part, we went into this house. Uh, we found basically nothing except a couple of people that wanted to tell us about the past. And I've restarted the game since that save point, and it's put me back here outside. So I'm going to go back in and make sure there wasn't anything that I missed. And, whoa, there was a texture loading in there. I think that has maybe a little bit of something to do with the quick slowdowns I've been getting. I do not know. Uh, I haven't really done anything to try and address that issue. I just hope that magically it will not affect me this time. But we'll see. I've already checked all these rooms. There was nothing in them except for a couple of narration sequences. Go back up into here. Oh, and also would like to remind you that this is a full side-by-side -side stereoscopic 3D video. It is 3,840 pixels by 1,080 pixels. And that means that you are going to have to select 2160p or 4K to view this properly. Do not select 1080p. Do not select 720p. Don't select anything other than 2160p. And if you're downloading it, make sure you download the highest quality version available. Thank you for listening to this public service announcement. There was nothing in here. <clears throat> we just learned that Ethan apparently woke the sleeper, and the people of the town were not too happy about that. Whoa. Son. Sun. So we'll just head back outside and continue exploring the general area. I've already read that. I like how it appears orangish, so you know that you have already read it. <clears throat> so I'm going to, I guess, go up the path up this way. If I recall correctly from my viewing of K Maelstrom's KM tries of this game. This leads up to the... Whoa, come on. That is craziness. This leads up to the cemetery and the... the church. The music just kicked in. Is there anything here? Just a rock slide. Nothing here. See if we can get a high uh, convergence screenshot here. I don't like this rock being so close, so we'll just move that out of frame. Oh yeah, look at this. Looks awesome. Unrealistic, but looks awesome. Hey, there's music. Located in this area specifically? Is there anywhere where I can use my paranormal powers? Don't believe so. The music is just going to abruptly end as I leave. Ah. It started again. This is weird. Nothing here. Nice that the environments are so explorable, but there's just nothing there. Whoa, what is going on? Seriously? It dips down like five frames per second. I'll try and get that issue dealt with, but it's going to be in this part at least. I am sorry for that. So the path continues. I want to just check over here. Whoa. People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. And I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. 
If you want to find my house, you must answer the question. Are you talking to me? Do you admire thieves for their bravery or their greed? I don't admire thieves at all. There's particles floating. Really cool in 3D. Think peace. Are you gonna suffer when you aren't dead? When you close your eyes, whose voice do you hear? Crazy lady's voice. Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? You're not giving me a chance to answer. Truly unfair to others. Wow. Uh. Oh. Right on both sides. This is crossed out though. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman that she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if, he could make his, if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch, asks, the witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. The boy didn't exist, or what? So this was crossed out on the back. Is there any difference? Fear turned to sadness. The woman... Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry more and more, it looks like it says. Yeah, I can't make it go text for the back. Ethan, right. the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. So they didn't like his stories? Because it looks looks like Ethan liked writing stories and stuff, but... They want him to be concerned with... The material, with... The imminent. I don't think I used that word correctly, but hey. Is it the same story? Yep. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it. I know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? I guess Ethan camped out here when he was not happy about his mother's treatment of him. Nothing else here, right? Just the forest. And great screenshot opportunities. 
<laughs> Visible wall prevents me from heading down there. I think I'm gonna continue along the path I was following when we got started. There's a graveyard. Yeah, here's the graveyard. Can't read that. But I can take a screenshot of it. PX. On the topic of stereoscopic screenshots, I've got a video on the channel explaining how to convert your screenshot uh, from the default of a very low quality JPEG, JPEG to lossless PNG format. So all these screenshots I'm taking are being saved to PNG without that ugly artifacting that's caused by the default screenshot format. January 3rd, 1874 to... Oh, no, no, no. That's not January. That's March 1st, 1874 to September 20th, 1934. Lived 60 years. That's a... Great screenshot for just the sense of depth here. We've got this cross right up close to the to the uh, window. We got a few things in between here and the far background. Trees, then that tower, then the church. Wow, just fascinating, man. And there's no ghosting with any of it. I mean, I'm looking for the ghosting right now. Absolutely zero in this scene with uh, 3D Vision 2 and Light Boost Monitor. It's just... The only way it gets any more perfect than this is if I'm not wearing glasses. And I don't even think about the glasses. I don't... I don't remember that I'm wearing glasses when I play a game in 3D. So this church is a place that scared the crap out of Kay Maelstrom. I mentioned that he did a video a little bit earlier, and I also mentioned in the previous part. He saw it and he said, nope, I'm not going in there. <laughs> or should I like, look into the scary church place, which is completely dark? Uh, no thanks. I don't want to go in there. Okay, most of it doesn't want to go into scary places. Um, yeah, that's kind of the idea. <laughs> he did go in for a little bit, and... He was forced to go in because he couldn't find anywhere else to go. This is completely dark right here. I can just barely make out a little bit, but there is kind of a lot of banding. It can't... I don't know if it's the display or if it's the game engine. But, um... It can't properly display all the gradations of dark gray that are in this room. So there's a bit of banding. Not as bad as a lot of the scenes in Dark Souls, but still pretty bad. So we've got this lantern. Very exquisitely modeled. Nice texture work there. Specular highlights going. Awesome. Take that, I suppose. And... 
staircase is broken. So we won't be going to the top. Do you want to get a screenshot of this interior here? That's a good way to capture it. Something like this? Not really. That's good enough. Wow, just, just look at it, man. Gorgeous view. Skybox is one of the best I've ever seen in a video game. I'd say that the best skyboxes I've ever seen were in Rage, the id software game. But, sad thing about those skyboxes where they were completely static. And I really felt that they should have had some movement in them. Because the way that the clouds just never moved was kind of goofy, really. And few skyboxes do have movement in them. This one, I don't think, has any movement. Nope. Those clouds in the distance there are not moving at all. Shame. World of Warcraft, it has some animated skyboxes. They don't look as high quality as these, but from an artistic perspective, they are really cool skyboxes. Burnt matches, an oil can. Spilled oil, round stain, oil lamp. Yeah, I have that oil lamp. Now what? Can't take it. I guess I need more parts. Buy more parts, I'll be able to fix it. Leads to the mausoleum. Brush, bucket, crow carcasses. Blood is paint, ritual, crows killed, cut open with knife, dagger, scalpel, or razor? Huh? Nothing but questions. Questions, but no answers. Oh, I guess I can stand up now. Mortar, trowel, pile of bricks. Work, dropped, interrupted. Vandergriff. I guess they were supposed to be boarding this up. Is this where the sleeper came out of? I don't know. The creepiness continues to mount. Oh, hey. Benian Star, Wing of the Crow, Crow's Foot, Neo Cross, Broken Cross, Death Rune, Witch's Foot. Sacrifice to Klepoth? I guess this is what was being painted. He's trying to cast some type of spell to prevent things from escaping. Well, I think we've got to go into the uh, evil Vandergriff mausoleum. Which K. Maelstrom refused to do, but... Well, he did peek inside for a second, but... Oh man, it's totally dark. Handle, handle. Crow, crow. So I need to find a crow to put on there. And a lot of these text elements are going through the wall, deeper than the wall, which is something you would not notice in 2D. But I can notice it very well in 3D. Probably won't do anything. Yeah, I need to get that lantern. I can't see shit if I go in there. 
But I can't fix it yet. Anything hidden back here? Let's try and figure out where to get the pieces for this lantern. I think that is the current objective that I should set my mind t towards. I have no hints as to where it could be. But... I need some type of uh, glass enclosure for it. I don't think there's anything else in this area. Been in all the buildings, I believe. Went in the church. Checked out all the rooms. Right? I think so. Double check. Yep. This little cubby hole here. That's about it. There's the path I was trying to take. I think there's a way up here that I'll give a quick peek. Oh yeah, you know what I'm about to do. Just need to set this up properly. Oh my god. Oh my god. So amazing. The game looks good to begin with. But then I'm viewing this shit in 3D. Oh my fucking... The only way it gets better is I view this in VR. And it fills my entire field of view and... I can move my head and feel like... The game is responding to... My natural human movements. Oh my god. They need to adapt this for VR. It's gotta happen. The Oculus Rift gets the consumer release. The astronauts better make this VR ready. I don't want to see an update. I don't care if people got to pay five bucks, ten bucks for it. Because I will be getting the consumer Oculus Rift. I'm not much of a beta tester type guy, so I'm not going to get a DK2, even though Chris, Stereo 3 Productions, he says the DK2 is pretty much ready to go as far as consumers are concerned. But... I'm going, uh, I'm just going to wait. I'm sure they got amazing advancements in the works right now for the Oculus Rift consumer version. I know the Crescent Bay that they showed was a pretty significant upgrade over DK2. But, uh, yeah, I'll just wait. Let there be more games and experiences say. first. You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. They walk down stairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. Hmm. Interesting commentary on the dead. This is so similar to Dear Esther, the way you walk around and narration pops up. But at least there are some simple puzzles, I guess. Dear Esther had no puzzles. But Dear Esther was also a beautiful game to just relax, enjoy it. That's what I plan to do with the vanishing of Ethan Carter. At least as much as I can when there are not some mutilated bodies of crows around and mausoleums with incantations um, written across them. 
I've got this huge cliff here. Imposing cliff. I can really feel just how large it is. Oh, oh, oh. Frame rate's dipping. It's over here. Anything? Tower over there. Gate over here. Locked. Well, I imagine we will need to go there eventually. I'll just make a note of it in my mental image of how this area is laid out. Some type of transformer here. And what's, what's with all the electrical stuff on this old building? This must have something to do with that area over there. Providing power for it in some manner. Oh yeah, we're getting a vista of the river and the lake. The map is just so large, it feels realistic in size. I mean, obviously this would be a tiny area. When you think about it in terms of actual locations in the real world, but for a game area? Impressive. So that just leads up to where I was before. You can get up there without having to go the long circuitous route that I took. It looks like another way up there. So I'm glad that they added these multiple routes in just so you don't have to take the long way every time. Oh, yeah, man. Take a look at the lake. Is that the train bridge? The rail bridge where I started? I think it is. So awesome to know that, hey, I've been there, and if I wanted to go there again, I could. <laughs> so cool. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. We've got some oil lamp parts to find. Looks like I'm not able to get to the shore. The rocks block it off. I've stepped through too many portals, been present in too many worlds simultaneously. Bits and pieces of me stay on the other side, waiting. Whenever I return, I bring parts of those worlds back. Do you know what ghosts are? They're sad, evicted things. Memories without homes. I travels to other worlds? This is getting crazy. Oh, I'm back where I started now. And... Yeah, in this area I'm getting lots of these hiccups.
It must be something to do with the game loading. I don't... I don't know what it is. Let me look on the Steam forum, see if I can find any information about this. Well, I've checked out this building. There was nothing in it. So I'm back where I started and I don't quite know what to do. I've already read this. Supposedly there was a secret house, I mean a secret room in here. I haven't been able to find it. What exactly happened here? A bunch of debris. Pile of bricks. Nothing I can interact with. Already checked here. I've already been back in there. Nothing in there either. Hmm. Where am I to go? I need to find parts to an oil lamp. Only got the first step completed, which is finding the oil lamp. Nothing else around. No secret rooms. I guess I need to go back to the other house with all the weird portals. I don't know, man. This room is pretty much identical to that portal house room. Let me see if I can make any landmarks out outside the window. See if I actually am. Okay, so I can see the elevator thing over there. Whoops. The autosave system is absolutely bonkers in this game. I haven't... S I've autosaved once when I went into that weird dreamy sequence thing with the woman asking me all the questions, but since finding the lantern and all that stuff, there haven't been any autosaves. Don't know when the next one might be either. This this house is totally different. What is that? It's coming out of that window. Something gripping the window. Is it moving? I don't think so. You can't actually explore this house because it's too broken down. You can't get down there yet. Where are the actual stairs? Oh. 
Well, I'm going to find out what's ripping the window, I guess. Or maybe not. It's on the other side here. But it doesn't look like there's a way to get there. Get on the balcony. Pretty cool view. Sadly, I don't see anything here. Just a broken house. Double check. Can look out the window here. Hmm. Just wish there was something to find. I feel like I'm moving forward. Permit only those who can discern every true interior to pass. Okay. So how do I know if it's a true interior? Are a clue. Number of boards they have. Oh, that. I guess when it flashes red, that means you got it wrong. that was correct and you can sort of unlock the rooms that's what I think is happening here but I don't know how to tell if it's real or not like, how do I know if this is real ah I failed Okay, let's try again. That is not it. That's not it. Is this it? Yeah, that was it. I still don't know how to tell, though. Would this room make any sense? No. Yeah, I see a window over there, so that makes no sense. This makes sense. Okay. I have no way to know... That makes no sense. I think the best bet is this one. Okay, correct.
That makes no sense. That makes no sense. This makes sense. I already solved that one anyways. So let's just go up here. This room makes sense. That one makes no sense. That's impossible. Just based on what I can see out the window here. That one, I think is... Yeah, uh, that one couldn't be. This one, the windows are right up against these. this window. Nope, that doesn't make sense. That could be a good candidate. Nope. Nope, impossible. Very probable. Impossible. Okay, a path leading that way. Path leading up and down. I didn't see anything like that below, so... I don't think that's it. I think this is it. Yep. Let's see. The edge of the room is like right there, so that could be it. That could also be it. But does that go too far to the left? Ah, let's try this one instead for the moment. This is the current room I'm in, so... I mean, there, right there is that board on the right side, so that's not it. Um... Okay. What do, I, what do I have to do? Solve all the... This is the same house, isn't it? So I do remember this is the room in that other house. Yeah, I just need to re return to my memory of that house. But I've already been up here. Oh! Okay, now we're talking. I don't like that baby f over there, or that fetus. I don't know what the fuck that is. God, here we go. So this is the secret room Ethan found? Oh, man. What are you doing with that head? A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him, but the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the, magi the magician's house. But the magician knew that this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. And there you have it. Behind the Veil. Puzzle solved. I didn't realize it at first what was going on here when I came through here in the previous part. But after I realized that I really am stuck and I really need to go back to that portal house. I, my brain worked and I figured some things out. But this room... It's a lot less magical than the previous one. Bunch of old kegs and things like that. But, hey. 
It's the imagination of a child, I suppose, making it a bit more uh, colorful and supernatural than things actually were. Looks like it's just a moonshine distillery. All right. So thank you for joining me for this third part in my playthrough of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, presented in stereoscopic 3D, full side-by-side, -side, 1080p per eye, my friends. Please join me in the next part, and we'll continue discovering the truth about what the heck's going on here.